Hey there, this is LA Calling, and you're watching Brutally Delicious with Bruce Moore. Hey, welcome to Brutally Delicious. I'm Bruce Moore. Today we've got another great show in store for you. This time we're going to head north of the border and speak with the guys in a Canadian band, Rough Boys. Stay tuned. We're going to see what they have cooked up for us today. Oh. Oh, hey there. Well, I'm Tommy Chief. And I'm Sammy Chief. I'm Mark Z. And we are the, the Rough, Rough Boys. Boys. <coughs> we're here today, iFood.tv, brutally delicious. And we're going to be making our own recipe. These here. Rough Boys Beer Subs. We're going to show you how it's done, how they're made. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the beer. And the ingredients you're going to need to do this recipe are some baguette, some mushrooms, one white onion, some steak, and beer. Now let's get to it. So you're probably wondering what the first step is. Well, let me tell you. It's to cut a white onion. Dice it nice, and you're ready to go. So next step is you add the onions to the frying pan. Now we don't have oil here, but we always add beer. So we're gonna use beer instead. Just throw your onions in there. Mix them up and saute them and they're going to taste great. Trust me. Next step, let's cut up some mushrooms. Also dice them and throw them in with the onions. Nice. Next up, see here we have the onions? Throw the mushrooms in with them. There you go. The next step, we take our steaks. We want them nice and tender, so all we do, heat them up a little. And add a little bit of salt and pepper. You can also add other things like a rag or a rosemary, but salt and pepper are classics, so why not all do that? <laughs> nice and spread out. So then what we do, take a frying pan, turn the temperature up nice and high, throw a little bit of beer in there. There we go. Nice and sizzling, that means good and hot. We take the steak, let it nice and burn. Do it to all of your steaks if you're making more than one. Not to do it to the one, just make one. 
Now whenever your steak is done to whatever your preference is, rare, medium, well done, take it out. It's going to look kind of like this guy here. Throw it on with the rest of him. And that is your cooking part. I guess the whole thing is the cooking part. This is one of your cooking parts. <laughs> and when it comes to the baguette, put it in the oven, heat it up to your preference, make it nice and crispy, then cut it. Like so. And there you have it, the Rough Boy's very own beer subs. Check out our new EP, Blood, Booze, and Gasoline. Follow the links below. The Rough Boys. For those not familiar with Rough Boys, can you tell us a little bit about yourselves? Well, Rough Boys is a, is a, is a heavy metal band from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. When we play what we call cutthroat, hogtown rock and roll, that is like a combination of thrash, punk, hard rock, whatever, guitar music with solos and shit. Awesome stuff. Now that your record, Blood, Booze, and Gasoline, has been released, how do you feel about it? And are you satisfied with the outcome? Yeah, I'm really satisfied with the outcome. It's a great album. We put all our hard work into it. And it's paying off on Decibel Magazine, there's reviews in Italy, we're stoked about it. And you should go take a listen to it. Do you have any rituals before you hit the stage? If so, where are they? We try not to drink uh, too much, but we end up drinking anyways. And uh, we kind of just deal with it, right? So, um, try not to drink is probably the main ritual. Brown here. Um, you have any touring plans in support of the release? We have a CD release party October 3rd, Bullvine Sex Club in Toronto. Uh, aside from that, touring is TBA, to be announced. What's the strangest thing that's ever happened to you on tour or at one of the shows? Let's try and keep it PG 13 for this family show. It's really hard to say. When we're on tour, we're always. Like it's really rock for wasted. I don't remember most of it. I just remember waking up with a lot of women that I do not face tattoo. I think that was that was one I did not expect. That happens a lot. But yeah, stuff like that happens a lot on tour. I can't say it's strange anymore, it's just part of the routine. Regular life suits. That's what being on tour is like. You were stranded on a deserter island to take on three records for the rest of your life. Assuming you had a solo power TV player, what would they be? Three? Sky Valley, Caius. Rain and Blood, Slayer. And the freewheeling Buck Blood, Tambourine. I'd probably say the Rough Boys, Blood Boot, and Dassin. That's hard one. Probably. The Rough Boys, Speedy P. You know, the rough boy spit at you, No, no, my friend. Wish you were here. Uh, Neil Young live at Massey Hall. And I'd have to go with Tom Brady and Blood. If you were a stripper, what would your name be? Mine'd have to be Heavy T. Milkshake. Heavy Milkshake. <laughs> Young Cut. <laughs> <laughs> That was a great question. <laughs> what was the first hard rock heavy metal album you ever bought? Mine was Rob Zombie Living Dead Girl Tape. I think it was Kiss and Wise. Unless I was Death Flapper. But I think it was Kiss. It was a long time ago. Quarrel would fall the leader. Tough. What's the theme song to your life and why? Theme song of my life. Straight out of Compton, NWA. That I'm in break.
<laughs> okay, mine would be so horny by that chick that does that song, so horny. Yeah. <laughs> Steven Soul? What's the Rocky one? Survivor? 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 Tiger? That's well, because we're barely just surviving. We're barely surviving. The sandwiches are props. Send us money. <laughs> Send us food. Yeah. These food are stamps. plastic. Next question. What's next for Rock Boys? We're going to be touring in the spring, and we're going to be recording a new freaking record in the wintertime, hopefully an LP. So follow us on Facebook, Facebook, Bandcamp, etc. And we'll be hearing from you soon. On the rock. Forever. Hard as fuck. Run away to the top.